on my three day trip on the E90 and I got sick. Good morning guys and girls. <laughs> it is Saturday, maybe, yeah. It's definitely Saturday. Um, it's almost 5 a.m. and I have a report time to be at the airport for 6.50. I'm about to start a three-day trip. So, of course, I'm taking y'all along with me. Let me go ahead and get ready and get out the house. <sighs> Made it to Syracuse, ended our first day of our three day and I planned on showing y'all the plane and all kind of stuff today and I just kind of forgot y'all I'm sorry but I'll show y'all the hotel room take a look so we walk in through the door have the closet right here iron safe and then nice king size bed Little sitting area over here, desk, TV, and let's check out the bathroom. This little sink, and where's the light? And this stand up shower. Oh, look at that shower head. That looks like it might be a nice little pulsing massage. <sighs> Hi, guys. Oh, yeah. I wore y'all favorite dress today. What y'all think? I might get it in the short sleeve. Maybe it won't be so hot. That's the reason why I don't like wearing it, because it just, it gets so hot. But it's cute, though. A little flash of orange. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning. It is like super early. 5 a.m. in the morning or some crap. And I'm on the E90, which is not my favorite plane, but it is my favorite plane. But the aisles are small and I have <laughs> a lot of bags. But I'm going to pre flight. Do all my emergency equipment checks. We got four legs today. And then so we guys, in I was on. <laughs> say hi to Fawn. Fawn, say hi. That's my roomie, Fawn. So I told y'all I was on my three-day trip on the E90, and I got sick this morning. So I had to call out, which... Kind of glad I did, but kind of glad, kind of mad that I did because I really wanted that Labor Day pay tomorrow, but I just wasn't feeling good and I couldn't do my job and that's important, right? So now I'm at home eating unhealthy with Fawn and watching movies. So, so I forgot to mention how and why I got sick. So on the E90, it's a little itty bitty plane. But it's not that little, but it's our smaller plane. And it was my favorite plane until today because it only holds 100 people, so that means less work that I have to do. But I was in the back. The other times that I've been on the plane, I've been on the front. And so today with all the turbulence, I don't know with that combined of me not getting enough sleep. Um, it just made me feel like really motion sick. And I was dizzy and my stomach was starting to hurt. And I kind of felt like I have to throw up and I never really throw up. So I just knew something was wrong. So we did our leg back from, where was I last night? Syracuse. Syracuse. We did our leg back from Syracuse to JFK and we were supposed to have three more legs today. So when we got back to JFK, I just went ahead and um, called a in-flight lead, supervisor, whatever you want to call them. And I called out sick, so they had to replace me with somebody else. So now I'm just going to kind of take the rest of my block off. Just because I might as well. Just because the way our system is set up, <clears throat> it just makes sense. So, yeah. That's what happened. So those are some things that hopefully never happens to you on the plane. 
but I guess it just comes with being kind of new to the career and getting used to that and your body still adjusting and all of that but the most important thing is being safe and making smart decisions because what we're trained for is safety on the plane and if I can't be safe myself then I can't protect the customers slash passengers so it makes no sense for me to be working so that's why I called it but yeah so now for real for real bye I feel better much better now. good morning today is Thursday so I thought that was gonna be the end of my vlog but that wasn't because they used me for a trip today so I think the last thing I was telling y'all is that I got sick on my um, three-day trip so I called out and when you call out one call out is good for four days um, so I just decided to go ahead and take the full four days and just give my time give myself time to just like rest my body to recoup and just like whatever was going on make sure you know just stay healthy I mean it's really important um, in this career where you're flying and doing all these time changes and not really getting enough rest that you take care of yourself so I just decided to go ahead and do that and I really thought that today being my last day of my reserve block I had a six day reserve block this week or was it five but anyways today was the last day of my reserve block and I was like just prepped and ready to go home to Houston because I have a I took 10 days well I didn't take 10 days off I blocked my off days for a full 10 days to go home to Houston and just help with Harvey recovery and all of that so my bags are packed at home and ready to go and I was on call at 3 a.m. this morning and I got a call exactly at 3 a.m. for me to report uh oh sorry y'all hold on my arm getting a little heavy so I got a call exactly at 3 a.m. this morning for me to report to JFK for 515 so I can do a trip not even a trip one leg from EWR New Jersey to Boston and then I head back from Boston to JFK and then I'm done but that's gonna cause me to miss my flight home so I'll be here just one more night and then I'll go home tomorrow so right now I'm just outside waiting for the limo to come pick me up from JFK so when we do trips from um, EWR airport we usually have to come to JFK airport and then they have a car or a limo or whatever they refer to it as a limo but it's not an actual limo but they have a car come and pick up the crew drive us to that airport and then we start our trip from there someone was actually asking me the other day if we do any flights out of EWR and as you can see we do this is actually gonna be my first time doing this so we'll see how it goes um, also we fly out of LaGuardia if we're JFK based um, but they don't do a limo for LaGuardia we just have to make our own way there so, I'm just kind of looking around right now to see if I see any of my other crew this might be one of the pilots he looks like he's out here waiting for a limo I'm not sure but it's getting cold out here, y'all. So I'm honestly ready to go home. I don't have any winter clothes with me here in New York. <coughs> Excuse me. So I definitely have to go home and pack up some stuff. And because I can't, like, this, this thing here is not gonna cut it. And my big fluffy jet blue jacket. <laughs> my big fluffy jacket that they gave us for uniform I left in Houston when I um, came back from training so I'll probably bring that down with me as well because it's been raining a lot as well down here so anywho I'll talk to y'all when I get to EWR Place in your pocket or in the seat back in front of you, but cellular services must be turned off prior to take up. We appreciate your cooperation. Thank you. Time to dead head back to JFK. It's a rowdy flight. Glad I'm not working. Anyways, y'all, this is truly the end of the vlog this time. I will be off for about 10 days. I'm heading home to Houston tomorrow 
to do some giving back to my community um, and get some work done and spend some time with my family and my dogs, all of that good stuff. So, see y'all in the next one. Bye.